Well, Israel today laid out a strike on an Iranian weapons depot in Syria, very close to the airport there. And they are defending this decision today as well. And they did release a statement on this, Israel did. Okay, they're defending the decision to attack an arms depot near the Damascus airport, saying that it was, quote, compatible with Israel policy. The Israeli intelligence minister Yisrael Katz, speaking on the Israeli army radio, would not comment on the strike itself, but did say that it did not violate any sort of protocol. Also reports coming in Thursday that five strikes ended up hitting uh, this particular arms depot there, uh, which is known to be used by Iranian-backed militias. It is absolutely, it absolutely matches our declared policy, he told the radio station. It's a policy that we also implemented. Israel has largely stayed out of the fighting in Syria, although it has carried out a number of airstrikes on suspected Iranian weapons shipments. It believed were bound for the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, which we know is fighting strong against Israel, guys, okay? They are, they are stopping at nothing with that. Iran and Hezbollah, both, as we know, bitter enemies of Israel, along with Russia, have sent forces to support President Assad. We know that what the situation over there with Assad and the chemical weapon attack that happened not too long ago, okay? Now, in a visit to Moscow on Wednesday, Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman said that Israel, quote, will not allow any Iranian or Hezbollah forces to be amassed on the Golan Heights border. This is a highly contested area and a very key one, too, when it comes to Bible prophecy. Lieberman, who was also attending a security conference in the Russian capital, met with Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who met with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson not too long ago. A statement issued by the Defense Ministry said that Lieberman discussed the situation in Syria with the Russian Defense Minister, all, of course, relating to Hezbollah and a tax lair in that area on Israel. Now, it is a rare admission on Israel's part to admit that they took military action in Syria. However, Israel has repeatedly warned against what they are calling, quote, game-changing weapons reaching Hezbollah from Syria, which along with Iran supports the militant group. Hezbollah has fired more than 4,000 rockets on Israel, guys, back in the 2006 war. Okay, so Israel, guys, is not going to back down. We know where they stand in Bible prophecy. We know that the, the armies, the nations, or everyone are going to come together against them. Okay, and they are going to take the city of Jerusalem. So Israel is not backing down when it comes to anything. When it comes to defending their nation, if they need to go out and, and they need to do a strike somewhere, or they need to get involved in something that maybe they don't typically get involved in, they're going to do it. They're just absolutely going to do it. They have to. Okay? So it's always very important we remember... Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Israel. The Bible says, I will bless those who bless Israel and I will curse those who curse it. It is the apple of God's eye. The Bible clearly says, do not touch the apple of God's eye, that being, being Israel. All right, guys. So be in prayer for them. We are living in unprecedented times, although exciting times. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. All right, guys. So I'll continue to keep you updated here on that. Anybody watching, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. I'm telling you guys, it'll be the greatest decision you ever make. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God, have everlasting life. How about a mansion in heaven? Why not, right? Well, Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. When I go, I will go. I will prepare a place for you. Well, that's exciting stuff. All right, guys, so let me know if you'd like to be saved today. It would be my honor to pray for you. All right, I'll continue to keep you updated here on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates. Also, subscribe here to this channel, CardsFan480. And thank you so much to all the new subscribers that have recently joined up. I greatly appreciate it. You guys can find me on both YouTube and Periscope. Just search me under the same name. I'll pull you right up. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.